Oh, what's up, Blackies fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, yo, shout out to Abina, one of our subscribers, uh, one of our day ones, right? Uh, she's been telling me, yo, you got to check out, uh, I think it was called Ride. Uh, hopefully I got the right one because I believe she said it was called Ride and something. And I did a search and this is what I found under to Toby Wigway, uh, Ride under hashtag the originals. Uh, so, yo, without further ado, we're going to do an intellectual breakdown, see what he has to say. Uh, yo, Toby Wigway is just one of those artists that uh, just never disappoint. Uh, so I got my thinking cap ready, and uh, yo, let's get right to it. Oh. Down, down in the countryside. Yeah. 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 Got the little snap. <laughs> Look, if you roll with me, you're stiff. If you roll with me, you're solid. I got a scholarship. I went to UN. Yo, this man out here riding a horse? Uh, that takes that, <laughs> that, that takes some getting used to. I've only tried uh, way back in the day in like a grammar school fun fair, and it probably was a pony. <laughs> it would have looked huge to me at the time, right? Uh, yo, let's run that back. Yeah. A little different. Yeah. That's a real horse. <laughs> Look, if you roll with me, you're stiff. If you roll with me, you're solid. I got a scholarship. I went to UNT. Then I brought my whole hood to college. Look. Oh. He said he went to UNT, right? That's the University of uh, North Texas. And if I'm not mistaken, he has a fashion degree and merchandising degree. And I've heard also in the comment section, right, people putting me on, telling me about him. Uh, that uh, he actually designs the clothes, right? The outfits that all of them are wearing. Yo, that's that's talent in itself, right? And again, it plays on, I always talk about the imagery uh, whenever I see his work. It's like, there's so much meaning behind what he does. Um, just everything about what they do is just sick to me. I got a scholarship, I went to UNT, then I brought my whole hood to college. That's also, he's like, yo, I, I, I'm spreading word, uh, spreading this knowledge in the hood, right? He said, I took my whole hood to college. He's not talking about literally paying for them to go to college. He's talking about putting them on game, right? Sharing knowledge uh, with them about how to make moves in the world. I went to UNT, then I brought my whole hood to college. Look, half my partner's mom, but I treat him just like fam. Don't ever get it confused, I love God, but you can still catch these hands. Look, hey, yo. I was told me. Yo, I say the same thing, right? I, I love my blazers. I'm known for my elbow patches, and I got plaid blazers, solid color blazers, vintage blazers. It's just part of my style, right? It always has been. Not a lot of people know me as that. Um, but, uh, yo, I always tell you, like, yo, don't get it twisted. I'm from Chicago. I'll take this dress shoe off and, uh, I reserve to right, the right to beat the fuck out of you, right? No, don't, don't, do not get it twisted, right? And I love what he's saying that too. It's like, yo, I'm a professional. Uh, I, you know, I'm a, I'm someone who's educated. Uh, half of my partners, what he said, half of my par partners are still mobbing, right? They're still out here doing mob action. Um, I, I treat them like fam. He said, yo, don't ever get it confused. Now, if you know my playlist, uh, you know you can still catch these hands, right? What does he say? Try Jesus. Don't try me. Because I throw hands, right? I fight. Don't get it twisted. F around and find out. Choose the love God, but you can still catch these hands. Look, Bible's told me I'm the man. I just chose to believe him. I met God, got real with fact, and I told the Bible's I don't need him. Gave him early dismissal. Earn my stripes like the fishers. I don't flow boy, I spit a pistols for all my pipes back in pistols. Yo, listen to what he said there, right? He said he's talking about girls, right? You said girls used to be throwing himself on him uh, at him, right? He calls them Bapas, right? Like Bapas told me I'm the man. He said, I just chose to believe him. And then he said something about uh I met God and got real with fat, right? Like the fishers. I don't flow boy, I spit a pistols for all my pipes back in pistols. I met God, got real with fat, then I told the boppers I don't need them. Yeah, Gave them early dismissal. Earn my stripes like the fishers. Ooh, uh, earn my stripes, right? That's a play on words. You can earn your stripes a variety of different ways. If you know uh, in, the, in the military, right, you earn different stripes. Uh, different organizations earning your stripes is like the pins and stuff that you have. 
they meant that you've uh, uh, you've been a part of so many things. But in the hood, when we say earn our stripes, it's like, yo, I've been through so much. I tell dudes, uh, like, yo, mess around and find out, right? Uh, again, don't get it twisted. Just because I got a blazer doesn't mean I throw hands. Uh, he's like, uh, what was I saying? He said, uh, oh, don't don't question. Uh, I, I've earned my stripes in these streets. It means I put in the work. I've done my dirt. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a real one. It's basically what he's saying. It's, it's verified, right? I don't need him. Gave him early dismissal. Earn my stripes like the fishes. I don't flow, boy. I spit a pistols for all my pockets packing pistols. Uh, that's deep. And I think, uh, I don't know that a lot of people uh, use that in everyday terminology, right? Who's talking about epistles? Um, it's normally a poem. I guess it could be other forms of literature, um, but it, it could be a series of letters. Um, but some people would, uh, like a, a book of the New Testament, right? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's the form of a, a, a letter from an apostle. So it's like a, and he said, I, I, I spit epistles. It's almost like he's, uh, he's, he's sharing this literature, right? This knowledge. Um, he's kind of like a poet is uh, the best way that I, I can interpret that. Well, I spit epistles for all my pockets packing pistols. Eat the beat to the gristle. Yeah. Spit it out, catch the next one. Right, the gristle is normally, uh, you think of uh, that part of bones, like chicken has gristle, right? It's, it's that stuff in the meat. He's like, yo, if I'm eating a chicken wing, right? And you nod down to the bone, you got all the gristle, right? You say, yo, I eat the beat with the gristle, bro. Spit it out, catch the next one. I use peace for direction. Ain't got peace for protection. Hey, hey, it is peace for progression. They get salty like Epson. Sweater style ambidextrous. Ooh, on my dog fly. It's peace for progression. They get salty like Epson. <laughs> he said they get sal salty like Epson. Uh, he's talking about that, uh, what is the technical word? Uh, magnesium sulfate, right? He's talking about Epsom salt. Uh, that's just the technical name for it. But Epsom, uh, a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people say Epsom salt, but that's what he's meaning. Yeah, he's getting salty, right? I use peace for direction. Ain't got peace for protection. Oh, hey, this peace for progression. They get salty like Epsom. Sweater style ambidextrous. Yeah. Oh, my dog fly. Uh, being ambidextrous is able to use both hands. Uh, right. Actually, I'm not a full ambidextrous, but I can write with both hands. I can sign my name with my left or my right. Uh, when I was younger, people would say, oh, you're an ambidextrous. Um, it just means that you, you use both hands. I'm not quite like that. But uh, like, for instance, I use my right hand when I uh, play basketball um, or when I throw a ball. Um, but if I were to do a layup, I only use my left hand. Uh, my default to signing my signature is my left hand, but I can also write on my chalkboard with my right hand. I could just change change it up when I get tired. Uh, that's ambidextrous. Sweater style ambidextrous. On my dog fly, Jetson. Jetson's uh, old Spacely Sprockets face. Uh, that's a cartoon from yesteryear, uh, late 80s, maybe early 90s. Uh, meet the Jetsons. Uh, what is it? Here's boy Elroy. Uh, the wife, um, or the daughter named Judy, Jane, his wife, de -de -de -de. and then they had that uh, robot uh, lady, uh, Jan uh, I forget the robot's name, but he said, yo, he said, all my dogs fly like the Jetsons, they have flying cars. Extras, all my dogs fly, Jetsons. And it ain't no love, and they got no love. Being down to ride is like, yo, down for the cause, right? Yo, yo, somebody got beef with you? Yo, let's ride out, right? That just means they're down to ride, they're down. He's saying we create our own wave, right? A lot of people jump on waves. He's like, yo, we create the tide, right? We make our own waves. We're independent, uh, but we're also free thinking. Uh, independent minded people, not just independent artists. My dog's on the H Astro. Got my psyche for Maslow. You the type that the. He said, My dogs are from the H Astro. Um, in Houston, it's called the Astro Dome, right? And that's where they play most of their sports. So he said, All my dog, my dog from the H Astro. But I think what's even more important, he said, I got my psyche, my psyche from Maslow. Uh, he's referring to Abraham Maslow. If any of you guys have taken a psychology class, um, Maslow's, the, the, his most famous work is his uh, Maslow's Hierarchy. 
right? It's, it's one of the best known theories of motivation, if you would. Uh, Maslow's theory states that um, there's a hierarchy um, that our actions are motivated by a certain uh, physiological needs, right? Um, so it's often represented by a pyramid uh, with the most basic needs at the bottom and the more complex needs are at the top. So um, uh, physiological needs are like uh, air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, right? And then up, it goes to uh, safety needs, right? Uh, employment, resources, health, property, uh, and then comes love and belonging, right? We need intimate, uh, intimate relationships, friendships, um, some sense of connection. And then we get to esteem, right? We have respect, self-esteem, uh, recognition, freedom. And then at the very top of the hierarchy, at the very top of the pyramid, that's what's called self-actualization. That's the desire to become the most that you can be. Um, and it, it is extremely popular. Um, all you got to do is uh, search Maslow's hierarchy and you'll see the breakdown and understand more about it. But that's who he's referring to. It's a sick reference. And again, where education meets entertainment, he drops these little jewels in there like Black Dot does. Uh, and it's important that if you don't know something, I always tell the teenagers here, if you don't know something, use your phone. Your phone is so much more than Fortnite, right? Or Call of Duty or whatnot. I try to Google something every time. If I don't understand its reference, I Google it so that I'll never not understand it again, right? It's a way to gain knowledge. Uh, you know, if I go to a trivia night, I used to love my wing nights and trivia night, just get a pitcher, a beer, get, I could throw down. My, I'm no, I'm not small. I'm almost six foot two, about 330, 340 pounds. I'm a big guy. Um, and I've been known, my record was like 20 or 30 wings for wing night. And I, I'm not talking about no baby wings there. Um, I used to love, man, love my wing nights. My dog's from the H Astro. Got my psyche for Maslow. You the type that they blast at. I'm the type that they blast for. About to call some he said, yo, my dudes blast for me, right? They know I'm the truth, right? My dudes will do what I, not do what I say, but they're part of the team because they understand what we're working for. They understand the movement. He said, you the type they blast at, right? <laughs> yo, I like that. Run it back. And just shout out again to uh, the choreography, right? Think about how much time it takes. Look how in sequence they are with the choreography. Um, just something that they do on almost every video. And these aren't just the background dancers that might be professionally trained dancers. Uh, this is him, his wife, and his producer. And man, they kill it every song, every song killing it. My dog's from the H Astro. Got my psyche for Maslow. You the type that they blast at. I'm the type that they blast for. About to cause a fiasco. Cops of murder. A fiasco, I think most people would get that, but for the younger kids, a fiasco is uh, something that's like, it's a failure. Um, but it's, there's normally some sort of like humiliation involved. Uh, like, oh my God, it was such a fiasco, right? It's uh, people were humiliated. It's normally funny, but it's also ultimately a failure. That they blast for. About to cause a fiasco. Cops of murder help my cash flow. Yeah. Trash rappers getting sunned. This the hate I'm your dad flow. Yeah. Everything I do, man. You know, well, when you sun someone, uh, right, it's like what uh, Eminem did to MGK, right, during that beef. Uh, it's like, stand, stand, son. You know, dad's not mad, right? He's sunning you. He's putting you in your place, right? I'm, the, I'm your father figure. Uh, shout out to another... Uh, Toby Wigway song that we also uh, did. It's down in the playlist. Uh, that's what Royce the Five Nine, and if I'm not mistaken, Black Thought. Hey, I'm your dad, flow. Everything I do, macro, not micro. Macro, right? When you go to college, you have to take two courses. Uh, normally, it's part of your prerequisites to get into the, the, your actual major, right? Now, you have to take microeconomics and macroeconomics. And one thing they teach you right away is microeconomics. Uh, it's a it's smaller scale, but macro, that's like the, the big the big picture, right? The larger perspective. Uh, so when he says everything I do is macro, right? It's, it's for the masses. It's for the big picture. He's not looking for just the day-to-day. -day. Uh, he's building his foundation the right way. Dad flow. Everything I do macro, not micro. I'm a cyclone on the mic song in the dice roll. They say I ate like an iPhone. I'm just trying to hit milestones. Never call me get down. Yo, he said... Uh, he said, I'm a cyclone when the mic's on in the dice roll, right? 
but he said they say I ate like an iPhone. I imagine, what is this, back 2018 or so? Uh, this is probably when the iPhone 8 was out. Uh, just good wordplay there. Just low-key, but just good wordplay. And again, look at Fat and Nell in the back. Just killing it. Look at my professional dancers. And this man's out here straight. And they're doing all this in the outfits that he puts together. Think about that, right? This man's holding a horse. Man, it's, it's hard to maintain and ride a horse, too, if it's not something that you're used to. Well, I'm a cyclone when the mic's on in the dice roll. They say I ate like an iPhone. I'm just trying to hit milestones. Never call he get down to him. I go like Chris Hakeem and fat my queen. She out here getting her lead some McDowell on. Ooh, that's a shout out to uh, coming to Mer America, right? Just let your soul glow. Right, we actually heard that in another one of his, uh, I think one of the live performances that we uh, did a reaction to. Um, but what did he say? He said, I'm a Prince a a a Akeem. That's a Prince Akeem Jaffer, right? He's the m main uh, protagonist, if you would, for that, uh, that film. It was either late 80s or early 90s, but I think it was actually late 80s. Uh, that's Eddie Murphy, right? Um, and uh, uh, what was it? Earl Jones, uh, James Earl Jones, right? Uh, uh, King Joffrey Joffer or what and whatnot, but anyway, the woman that he was pursuing in the film, her name was Lisa McDowell. Uh, right, her dad owned that uh, play on words with McDonald's. It was called McDowell's. <laughs> right, um, he's uh, getting her Lisa McDowell on. I imagine that's because she's intelligent and beautiful. First I came and fed my queen. She out here getting her Lisa McDowell on. <laughs> Yeah, look, catch the wave like a shore drift. Throw on point like a catch the wave like a shore drift. Again, I don't think a lot of people are catching that reference. A shore drift is when um, there's movement of material along the shore and it's due to a wave, right? He was just talking about the wave, we create the tide. Um, but it's the movement of material uh, that goes along the shore that's due to a wave. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but it's actually the wave. It's caused by the wave actually hitting at an angle. And that's what causes that movement. Uh, random nerd knowledge there, but let's run it back. Yeah, look, catch the wave like a shore drift. Flow on point like a swordfish. I need all trash wrap to forfeit. Every beat I touch. When you forfeit, right, you exit the game. You give up and you normally say somebody else has won. If you forfeit a basketball game, it's because you don't have enough players, right? You're you're going to bow out, right? Now run it back. Flow on point like a swordfish. I need all trash wrap to forfeit. Every beat I touch make the marks list. Mike about to be on the forks list. Jeff got the flame like the torch list. He said Mike. Was he talking about the mic? It sounded like he was referring to someone. Um, I, I don't know. It, 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 let me just run it back. Mike about to be on the Forbes Mike. list. Jeff got the flame like the torch lit. Jeff. Who's Mike and Jeff? Um, yeah, I can't think of it. Let me know in the comments if you know who he's referring to, Mike and Jeff. I imagine it's someone from their team, their camp, right? Someone making beats, someone in production, someone behind the scenes. But... I don't know exactly who they're referring to. Forks list, Mike about to be on the Forks list. Jeff got the flame like the torch lit, and we was raised to box like a forklift. Oh, we were raised to box, right? Now, you know, when you when you're young, you out here slap boxing, right? Now in the streets of Chicago, you know, Mama used to say, "Yo, don't come home after getting your ass whooped, right? Or I'm gonna come and I'm gonna whoop that ass." You better give them hell if someone pulls it with you. So what do you do, right? In the neighborhood, you. Right, <laughs> you know, so you, you were raised to box, right? So if you ever someone ever did test you, uh, you could hold your own. But raising a box like a forklift in a factory, yo, that's just awesome wordplay. I don't know if I've ever heard uh, that uh, reference like that in wordplay in a rap song. Just a great reference. The forklift, Jeff got the flame like the torch lit, and we was raised to box like a forklift. Oh. Yeah, so watch how you handle the cane. Swear to God, in my school days, I wasn't too safe. I blue jays, no can of the team. Oh. 
said, I blew Jays, right? I blow joints, but blue Jays, right? Like the Canada, the Canadian team. Yo, that's awesome wordplay. And uh, I love how he said he kind of came after that line where we were raised to box. He said, so watch how you handle the king, right? He's like, yo, watch how you interact with me because I box, right? I throw hands, right? Uh, yo, I love that reference. Jeff got the flame like the torch lit and we was raised to box like a forklift. Oh, yeah. Right. So watch how you handle the king. Swear to God, in my school days, I wasn't too safe about blue jays, no can of the team. Shout out to Country Grammar, uh, who knows Nelly, right, from the early 2000s. Nelly? Uh, what is it? I'm a boogie, I'm bad hoes and manicure toes, and he could breathe pants and then a thin toes. Now the dot dot the dee dee though. My babe, I'm going down, down, baby. Low street in the range over street sweeper, baby. Cock ready to let it go. <laughs> uh, Nelly, oh boy. Yeah, man, I wish I use my country grandma, make them speak in tongues like panda. Oh, make them make them speak in tongues like panda. Um, panda, 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 panda. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, let me know if that's a religious reference or a reference to the song Panda. Uh, man, with anything religious, it just over the top of the dome for me. It's just something I don't really have a good grasp on. Uh, but let me know if you get that reference. Um, let's run it back. Little man, on which I use my country grandma, make them speak in tongues like panda. Oh, they believe in me like Santa. Oh, got the juice like Trumpet Cannon. Oh, my partner's touch my weight. Oh, hopefully, they meet Hosanna. Oh, man, in fact, they call it Santa. He said, when they meet Hosanna, um, that's another something that's more, it's, it's not quite a biblical reference, but normally it means like um, praise, right? Or joy. Like you can you could use it different ways. Like you could say, Hosanna. Um, you know, I think one of the references I originally heard was, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, right? Um, or it could be saying, uh, you could say, um, I, I think it's an expression, right? If you're, if you're praising someone, uh, but I don't know. One, uh, hopefully they meet Hosanna. Yeah, the praise or joy, right? Hopefully they get joy. Uh, you know, run it back. Oh, they gon' leave me like Santa. Oh, got the juice like Trump Canada. Oh, my partner's touch more white than Vanna. Oh, ho touch more white than Vanna. I'm talking about his partners are in the Coke game, right? Touching that white. I'm about to play on words with uh, Vanna White, who was in, um, what's the name of that? Uh, a Wheel of Fortune, right? That's where most people know Vanna White from. Oh, my partner's touch more white than Vanna. Oh, hopefully they meet Hosanna. Oh, me and Fat, they call us Tanner. Oh, Mama low key on a fan. Oh, me and Reese be hella fan. Oh, they should play this like the anthem. Okay. Oh, they should play this like the So that must have been Reeks. I don't know who that is, but I imagine someone from the camp. Hopefully they meet Hosanna. Oh, me and Fat, they call us Tanner. Oh, Mama low key on a fan. Oh, me and Reese be hella fan. Oh, they should play this like the anthem. Oh, they should play this like the anthem. Yo. And we down the road. We create the time. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, shoot. Yo, that was nice. Uh, again, shout out to Bina for uh, re recommending that. She was like, yo, you got to check out Ride. And uh, I could just imagine her like, you got to check this out tomorrow. Right? I'm one of your day ones. You better do this for me. Uh, yo, so shout out to the, the love we've been getting, people recommending new music. Uh, yo, I haven't been disappointed yet. Everybody from even the white boy, Marlon Kraft, this cat just killed it on something that was super political, just super deep. But man, with Toby Wigway, uh, I don't even know how big the, uh, the playlist is, but we got to have something somewhere between 50 and 70 breakdowns of Toby Wigway's music, and we're continuing to go through his catalog. So Yo, if you're a fan of the intellectual breakdown, not just a Toby Wigway, but we do Black Thought, right? We do Ciroc, we do Nas, we do Kanye West. Uh, if you're a fan of that, man, make sure to show some love by subscribing to the channel. Uh, we just started it right at the start of the year. Uh, right now, we're kind of mid-February, and we're already at like four or 500 subscribers, and we're really looking to grow that base. Uh, we appreciate all you guys. I'll see you guys on the next reaction.